Chapter 8 So on October 8th, Ezra the priest brought the scroll of the law before the assembly, which included the men and women and all the children old enough to understand. He faced the square just inside the water gate from early morning until noon and read aloud to everyone who could understand. All the people paid close attention to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a high wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. To his right stood Mattathiah, Shema, Aneiah, Uriah, Hilkiah, and Maaseiah. To his left stood Pediah, Mishael, Milkajah, Hashum, Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshulam. Ezra stood on the platform in full view of all the people. When they saw him open the book, they all rose to their feet. Then Ezra praised the Lord, the great God, and all the people chanted, Amen, Amen, as they lifted their hands toward heaven. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Now the Levites, Jeshua, Benai, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akub, Shebathai, Hodiah, Measeiah, Kilaita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, and Peleiah instructed the people who were standing there. They read from the book of the law of God and clearly explained the meaning of what was being read, helping the people understand each passage. Then Nehemiah the governor, Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who were interpreting for the people said to them, Don't weep on such a day as this, for today is a sacred day before the Lord your God. All the people had been weeping as they listened to the words of the law. And Nehemiah continued, Go and celebrate with a feast of choice foods and sweet drinks, and share gifts of food with people who have nothing prepared. This is a sacred day before our Lord. Don't be dejected and sad, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And the Levites, too, quieted the people, telling them, Hush, don't weep, for this is a sacred day. So the people went away to eat and drink at a festive meal, to share gifts of food, and to celebrate with great joy, because they had heard God's words and understood them. On October 9th, the family leaders and the priests and Levites met with Ezra to go over the law in greater detail. As they studied the law, they discovered that the Lord had commanded through Moses that the Israelites should live in shelters during the festival to be held that month. He had said that a proclamation should be made throughout their towns, and especially in Jerusalem, telling the people to go to the hills to get branches from olive, wild olive, myrtle, palm, and fig trees. They were to use these branches to make shelters in which they would live during the festival as it was prescribed in the law. So the people went out and cut branches and used them to build shelters on the roofs of their houses, in their courtyards, in the courtyards of God's temple, or in the squares just inside the water gate and the Ephraim gate. So everyone who had returned from captivity lived in these shelters for the seven days of the festival, and everyone was filled with great joy. The Israelites had not celebrated this way since the days of Joshua son of Nun. Ezra read from the book of the law of God on each of the seven days of the festival. Then on October 15th they held a solemn assembly, as the law of Moses required. 